Well, brethren, I take this opportunity again to welcome you all to this session. And uh, I hope you've had a wonderful week, as I have also had a wonderful week. I thank God for giving us another opportunity to meet again here on Zoom, that we may continue studying the Word of God together. And uh, brethren, remember this is study, a study series on the book of Isaiah by Elder Roger Kisto. And uh, today's message, this is the third lesson on this series looking at the remnant exalted in the last days. And therefore, I believe that you are ready to receive the blessings that God has prepared for us. And so have your pens and papers ready, take down some notes, and remember at the end of the session, you will have an opportunity to ask a question or even to give a comment. And uh, for the sake of this message being clear to all the brethren listening and also those who will be following the recording later, we will do interpretation of the message. Na kwa hivyo basi na wakaribisha nyote katika wakati huu ili tuendelee na kubarikiwa katika ujumbe huu. Uh, Tunapokuwa tukiangalia kitabu hiki cha Isaya. Na basi katika siku ya leo mada ambayo tutakuwa tunaangalia ni wale masadio kuinuliwa katika siku za mwisho. Kwa hivyo hayo ndio tutakuwa tunaangalia wakati huu. Karibuni sana. Na ukumbuke baada ya fundisho hili utakuwa na nafasi ya kuuliza swali ama pia kuweza kutoa changio lako. Majina yangu ni Kenneth Karuga na basi karibuni sana kila mmoja. Elder Kisto, thank you again for finding time for us and uh, welcome that you may begin the session. I can see the background there is very pleasing and wonderful yes. the, and the nature. So welcome, welcome Elder. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we can begin. Uh, so welcome, Elder, that you may start the session. Well, praise the Lord. Uh, let's, let's pray as we go into this third session on the book of Isaiah. So let's pray. Gracious Father and our God, we thank you so very much for this distinct opportunity in this space, in this time in which we are living, to share the wonderful message of the gospel as found in the book of Isaiah. Father, there are serious warnings and reproofs, rebukes, and counsels to your people that are necessary for us today. So as we are blessed by these messages, may we in turn bless others. Bless our, uh, our study today. Father, beat back the forces of darkness so that your word will come true with power and clarity. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 So just allow me to share. Um, Okay. Yeah, we can see the screen. All right, so uh, La Kuruga, I'm in uh, the beautiful island of Tobago. I'm in the oh. country area, hence the surroundings that I have been graced with. So you can share that with the brethren. Uh, kwa hivyo ndugu um, tumishi Kisto anasema ya kwamba yuko katika kile kisiwa cha Tobago na basi ndipo unaona mazingara jinsi ambavyo alivyo ya kupendeza. Kumbuka zile ni bisiwa viwili vinakuwa pamoja Trinidad and Tobago. Sasa mtumishi yuko katika uh, kisiwa cha Tobago. Amen. 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 So today we want to continue our study on Isaiah and we want to look today at the remnant exalted in the last days. Uh, basi katika siku ya leo tunaendelea na kuangalia mawazo katika kitabu cha Isaiah na siku ya leo tunaangalia wale masalio kuinuliwa katika siku za mwisho. Amen. So today basically we want to look at chapter 2 as a platform for studying the rest of the book of Isaiah. Ah uh, kwa hivyo katika siku ya leo tunaangalia sura ya ya pili ya kitabu cha Isaiah ikiwa kama ndio mwongozo wa kuendelea kuchunguza kitabu chote cha Isaiah. Amen. So the Isaiah chapter 2 is really a prophecy that applies to the church of God in these last days. Ah uh, kwa hivyo kitabu cha Isaiah mbili hakika ni unabii ambao unaashiria uh, kipindi hiki cha mwisho. Amen. So Isaiah 2 has been embroiled in a lot of speculation, but we want to use correct principles of interpretation to get an understanding of it. 
Uh, kwa hivyo kitabu hichi cha Isaya mbili kimekuwa na utatanishi sana na kidi tunataka tutumie mbinu nzuri za kutafsiri maandiko ili tuweze kuielewa vizuri. Amen. So, so the entire chapter is really dealing with this setting up of God's kingdom and the coming of Jesus Christ. Kwa hivyo kitabu hiki kinaelezea kuhusiana na kuwekwa kwa ufalme wa Mungu na pia kurudi kwa Kristo mara ya pili. Right. So verse 1 says the word of that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Kwa hivyo kitabu cha Isaya 2 mstari wa kwanza inasema hili ndilo hili ni neno aliloliona Isaya mwana wa Amos katika habari za Yuda na Yerusalemu. Amen. So we would see that primarily this prophecy had its should have had its fulfillment with literal Israel and literal the literal Jerusalem and Judah. Kwa hivyo tunaona unabii huo basi ungeweza kuwa na hali ya kutimia kwa Israeli ama a Israeli na Yerusalemu na hata Yuda ya wakati huo. But because they did not use their leverage to accomplish God's task then god then it, then it it now it it now applies to us who are living in the last days i hope you understand that amen amen na kwa sababu wao hawakutumia nafasi waliopatiwa vizuri basi inategemea sisi ambao tuko katika nyakati za mwisho kuweza kutimiza ama unabii ule uweze kutimia na sisi amen now this is critically important because god intended for national israel to have this fulfilled but because they did not follow god's way then then the whole promise has been delayed up to our time kwa hivyo naona kwamba mungu alitamani ahadi hii itimie katika israeli ya zamani lakini kwa sababu ya hali yao basi na wao kukataa ilibidi basi ahadi hii iwe imechelewa na iweze kutufikia sisi katika kipindi hiki. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So follow with me now. So I so verse 2 now, verse 2 says, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. Praise the Lord and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations, hallelujah, shall flow into it. Praise God. Amen. Na basi ndipo mstari wa pili nasema na itakuwa katika siku za mwisho mlima wa nyumba ya Bwana utawekwa imara juu ya milima na utainuliwa juu ya vilima na mataifa yote wataendea makundi makundi. Amina. Amen. 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 So pay attention to the verse it says in the last days. In the last days. Praise God. Kwa hivyo ukizingatia sana ile fungu inasema katika siku za mwisho siku za mwisho Amen So my my second point on this page says generally the term last days designates the close of whatever period of time the speaker has in mind whether the period be short or the period be long very important Kwa hivyo kwa jumla uh, kusema wakati wa mwisho inaashiria mwisho wa kipindi chochote kile ambacho mzungumzaji anawaza haijalishi kama ni kipindi kifupi ama kama ni kipindi kirefu amen, amen. I, i want i want to make this very clear not because the text says last days does it necessarily have to apply to the people of god in the last days kwa hivyo fungu inaposema siku za mwisho haimaanishi tu kwamba inaashiria watu wa Mungu katika nyakati za mwisho peke yake hapana Amen so 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 the term last days could be applied to a short period or a long period depending upon what the writer has in his mind Praise God Kwa hivyo uh, tamko hili siku za mwisho inaweza kuwa inaashiria kipindi kifupi ama kipindi kirefu kulingana na kile ambacho mwandishi ama mzungumzaji analo katika uh, nia yake. Amen. But as we search this chapter, we will see that this term last days, hallelujah, applies to us living in these days. Amen. Amen. 
lakini tunapoangalia sura hii tutakuja kuona maneno hayo siku za mwisho inaashiria sisi ambao tuko katika wakati huu amen, amen. so, so look, at, look at the first point now it says this statement comes immediately before the establishment of the mountain of the lord's house at the top of the mountains now this is amazing kwa hivyo utakuja kuona tamko hili ama fungu hili linakuja kunde tu kabla ya kusimamishwa kwa mlima wa nyumba ya bwana katika juu ya milima kwa hivyo inakuja kabla tu ya nyumba ya Mungu kuitumiwa katika milima Amen. 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 So I trust that our people are understanding because this is very important for us to understand. Amen. Amen. Natumai ya kwamba tunaelewa na tunaambatana maana ni jambo la muhimu sana tuweze kulielewa. Amen. 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 So so look at this point here. Um just let me go back. Sorry. Um right. Right. A promise Note this however a promise originally intended for ancient Israel is now afforded God's church in these last days praise God Amen Amen basi ni vizuri pia kuweza kujua ahadi ambayo hapo awali ilikuwa imenuiwa kwa Israeli ya kitambo sasa inapatiwa kanisa la Mungu katika nyakati hizi za mwisho Amen, Amen. So if, if if we go back to the text in verse 2 it says and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations praise god shall flow unto it i say praise the lord amen amen tukirudi pale katika fungu la pili ambao tulikuwa tumesoma isaya 2:2 inasema na itakuwa katika siku za mwisho mwisho mlima wa nyumba ya Bwana utawekwa imara juu ya milima na utainuliwa juu ya vilima na mataifa yote watauendea makundi makundi amen 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 so look at this now brethren verse 10 says so we want to get the context of the last days in Isaiah chapter 2 kwa hivyo kumbuka tunataka tuangalie muktadha wa nyakati za mwisho katika kitabu hicho cha Isaya mbili Amen. Amen. So verse 10 says and, and if we follow carefully we will see that there is a relation between Isaiah chapter 2 and Revelation chapter 6 verse 14 to 17 that speaks about the last days. Amen. Kwa hivyo tukichunguza vizuri utakuja kuona kuna uhusiano wa kitabu hicho cha Isaya 2 na ufunuo a uh, uh, sita kuanzia mstari wa 14 ambayo pia inaashiria nyakati hizi za mwisho. Kwa hivyo tunakuja kuona kwamba kuna mambo ambayo yanawiana pale. Amen. 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 So verse 10 says, enter into the rock and hide thee in the dust for fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty. Amen. Amen. Basi mstari wa 10 inasema, ingia ndani ya Jabali ama ya mwamba ukajifiche mavumbini mbele za utisho wa Bwana mbele za utukufu wa enzi yake amen amen and if we compare that now with revelation 6:15 which says and the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men hallelujah and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid himself where in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains amen dens and the rocks of the mountains hallelujah Ukilinganisha hiyo Isaya mbili mstari wa kumi na uilinganishe na ufunuo sita kumi na tano ambayo inasema na wafalme wa dunia na wakuu na majemedari na matajiri na wenye nguvu na kila mtumwa na muungwana wakajificha katika pango na chini ya miamba ya milima. Amen. Amen. So let, let, let's go forward a little bit so we are, so these are indicators that it is speaking about the last day. Look at verse 11, 11 and 12. It says the loft so it it speaks now to the condition of the world and probably the church in the last days. Yeah. Kwa hivyo ukiendelea kuangalia basi ile kitabu 
inaashiria hali ya dunia katika wakati huu na nyakati za mwisho na hata hali ya kanisa jinsi ambavyo ilivyo katika wakati huu wa mwisho amen amen it says the lofty looks of man shall be humbled and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down and the lord alone shall be exalted when in that day for the day of the lord of hosts shall come upon everyone that is proud and lofty and upon everyone that is lifted up and he shall be brought low this has to be the last days hakika hizi ni zinashiria nyakati za mwisho mstari wa 11 isaya 2 inasema macho ya mwanadamu yaliyoinuka yatashushwa chini na kiburi cha mwanadamu kitainamishwa naye bwana yeye peke yake atatukuzwa siku hiyo mstari wa 12 inasema kwa maana kutakuwa siku ya bwana wa majeshi juu ya watu wote wenye kiburi na majivuno na juu ya yote yaliyoinuka nayo yatashushwa chini amen 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 let's look at verses 17 and 19 now the conditions say what it says and the loftiness of man shall be bowed down and the haughtiness of men shall be made low and the lord alone shall be exalted in that day verse 19 and they shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth for fear of the lord and for the glory of his majesty when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth amen basi mstari wa 17 na 19 inaendelea kutuonesha kweli kitabichi cha Isaya 2 kinaashiria nyakati za mwisho inasema mstari wa 17 na majivuno ya mwanadamu yatainamishwa na kiburi cha watu kitashushwa naye bwana yeye peke yake atatukuzwa siku hiyo mstari wa 19 inasema na watu wataingia ndani ya pango za majabali na ndani ya mashimo ya inchi mbele za utisho wa bwana na utukufu wa enzi yake atakapoondoka ili aitetemeshe mno dunia amen 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 so brother i want us to consider this we have enough evidences so far that tells us what will be the condition according to isaiah of the earth in the last days kwa hivyo ikiwa ndugu tuna namba 5 tunakuja kuona kwamba tayari tuko na ushahidi tosha ya kutufunulia hali itakuwa vipi katika nyakati hizi za mwisho ambazo tunazoishi amen mm. so let's let, let's go on let, let's get some more evidences it says in verses 7 to 9 their land also is full of silver and gold neither is there any end of their treasures their land is also full of horses neither is there any end of their chariots their land also is full of idols they worship the work of their own hands that which their own fingers have made and the mean man bowed down and the great man humbled himself therefore forgive them not this is the last days my friends mhm hakika hizi ni siku za mwisho unapoendelea kusoma mstari tukisoma mstari wa 7 wa 8 na wa 9 basi maandiko inatuambia tena inchi nayo inchi imejaa fedha na dhahabu wala hapana mwisho wa hazina zao tena inchi yao imejaa farasi wala hapana mwisho wa magari yao tena inchi yao imejaa sanamu kuabudu kazi za mikono yao vitu vilivyofanywa kwa vidole vyao wenyewe mtu mnyonge huinama na mtu mkubwa ujidhili kwa hiyo usiwasamehe amen amen so let me ask my my brethren uh, can we see that this is speaking about the last days are, are we able to see that if, you, if that's this fact just just indicate please <coughs> yeah uh, sijui ndugu kama tunaona kwamba kweli kitabichi cha Isaya 2 kinaashiria nyakati za mwisho na ikiwa tuko pamoja basi naomba tu uweze kuandika pale ili tujue kwamba tunaambatana je una, unaanza kuona kwamba Isaya 2 inaashiria nyakati hizi za mwisho mhm Amen. So I trust that we have it together. So let's let, let's let's put this together now uh brother Karuga. Let, let let's see how we can bring this together. All right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Kwa hivyo hebu tujaribu kuleta hii pamoja. Sijui wale ambao hawajaandika kama bado tuko pamoja. Ah basi wacha tuweze kuleta 
mawazo haya ili tuweze kusonga mbele natumai ndugu tafadhali tuwe pamoja amen amen so if you look at um the same verse in another version it says in the last days the mountain of the lord's temple will be the highest of all mountains it will be raised higher than the hills there will be a steady stream of people from all nations going there amen amen basi tunaambiwa hivi katika kitabu cha Isaya 2 mstari wa 2 katika tafsiri nyingine ya Biblia inasema katika nyakati za mwisho basi mlima wa hekalu la Bwana itakuwa juu sana katika milima yote itaweza kuwa imenuliwa zaidi juu kuliko milima na itaweza kuwa na mtiririko wa watu kutoka mataifa yote yakielekea pale amen amen amen, amen. so what, what we need to notice is the conditions of the earth leads to the exalting of the mountain of the temple of the lord above all the rest of mountains Nataka tuone kwamba hali ya dunia jinsi ilivyo inaelekeza ama inaongoza kwa kuinuliwa kwa kanisa juu ya milima yote idiomo. Amen. Amen. So what's the mountain? Revelation 17:9 and 10 tells us what the mountain is. It says, and here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. And there are seven kings five are fallen and one is and the other is not yet come and when he cometh he must continue a short space go ahead brother kuruga man basi hebu tuangalie basi mlima ni nini mlima ni nini kitabu cha ufunuo 17 mstari wa 9 na hata pia mstari wa 10 inatuambia hivi hapo ndipo penye akili zenye hekima vile vichwa saba ni milima saba anayokalia mwanamke huyo nayo ni wafalme saba watano wamekisha kuanguka na mmoja yupo na mwingine hajaja bado naye atakapokuja imempasa kukaa muda mchache amen amen so the mountains are kings or kingdoms praise the lord so the mountains are kings or kingdoms kwa hivyo kulingana na hayo tunaona basi milima ni wafalme ama falme ni wafalme ama falme Amen. 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 So in Revelation 17:10 it should really read and these are seven kings and these are seven kings. Kwa hivyo ah uh, hakika basi fungu hilo la ufunuo 17 inasema inastahili seme na hawa ni wafalme saba wafalme saba. Amen. So so my dear friends in the last days conditions are going to develop and then the mountain of god the kingdom of god hallelujah is going to be exalted above the rest of mountains or kingdoms amen kwa hivyo katika nyakati za mwisho hali zitakuwa ambayo uh, falme ziteza kuinuliwa na kanisa la mungu ama um, uh, mlima ama kanisa la mungu ziteza kuinuliwa ju ya milima hii yote amen. amen so look at verse 35 of daniel 2 it says then was the iron the clay the brass the silver and the gold broken to pieces together and became like the shaft of the summer threshing floors and the wind carried them away that no place was found for them and the stone that smote the image became a great mountain or kingdom and filled the whole earth amen Amen. Hebu tulinganisha na Danieli 2:35 ambayo inasema ndipo kile chuma na ule udongo na ile shaba na ile fedha na ile dhahabu vilivunjwa vipande vipande pamoja vikawa kama makapi ya viwanja vya kupepetea wakati wa hari. Upepo ukavipeperusha hata pasipone, pasionekane mahali pake na lile jiwe lililopiga hiyo sanamu likawa milima mkubwa ikaijaza dunia yote. Amen. Amen. So the mountains are kingdoms and Daniel 2:44 says and in the days of these kings shall the god of heaven 
set up a kingdom. And I say praise the Lord for that. In the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever. Amen. Amen. Na Danieli mbili ya rubaina ane inasema na katika siku za wafalme hao mungu wa binguni atausimamisha ufalme ambao hautaangamizwa milele wala watu wengine hawataachiwa enzi yake bali utavunja falme hizo zote vipande vipande na kuziharibu na utasimama milele na milele amen amen so in the lexicon the lexicon is the greek rendering of the old testament of the same uh, book, Isaiah 2 and verse 2 says, the mountain of the Lord and the house of God. It, it, it also means the Lord's house or the house of the Lord. Um, this is the, the usual Old Testament designation for temple. And I will explain after the interpretation. Kwa hivyo, kulingana na ile lexicon, yani ni tafsiri ya Biblia katika Kibrania, katika Isaiah mbili, mbili huwa inasema, na mlima wa Bwana na nyumba ya Mungu. Mlima wa Bwana na nyumba ya Mungu. Amen. Amen. So so the, the, the church of God, the temple of God, the house of God is the mountain of the Lord. Amen. Kwa hivyo hekalu la Mungu, mlima wa Mungu, nyumba ya Mungu ni basi ni Amen. So, so the, the, the church or the religion of Christ, praise God, is going to be the head over all other religions. Praise God. Amen. 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 So, to say that the mountain of the Lord's house would be exalted to the top of the mountains was equivalent to say to, to say that the God of Israel would be honored above other religions and gods. Hallelujah. Amen. Basi kusema ya kwamba mlima wa nyumba ya Bwana utaweza kuinuliwa juu kuliko milima yote. Basi ni sawasawa na kusema ya kwamba Mungu wa Israeli ataweza kuheshimiwa juu ya dini zingine zote Na yote. Amen. 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 So, so the last point, the last point then, if the mountain of the Lord's house is a figurative expression for the religion of Israel, then the mountains, plural, must be the other religions of the earth. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, Amen. so brethren, we are in a very special place. God wants to use us to exalt his name above all the other religions of the earth. Amen. Amina. Amen. Because look at what Isaiah 2 and verse 2 says. All nations shall flow unto it, my brethren. All nations. Amen. But you know, we're going to see next time we come together why Israel did not fulfill this promise. And also why we are not fulfilling this promise today. Kwa hivyo, utakuja kuona katika fundisha mbao litafuata, ni kwanini Israeli haikutimiza ahadi hii, na pia kwetu sisi, ni nini ambacho kineza panya, kusije tukatimiza ahadi hii. Amen. Amen. So how are nations going to flow into this mountain that will be exalted? Question. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo swali kuu je mataifa yataweza je kutiririka na kukuja katika mlima huu ambao utakuwa umeinuliwa ni kwa njia ipi? Amen. So Isaiah tells us arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee for behold 
the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles, praise the Lord, the nations shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Oh, praise God. Amen. 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 Basi ndipo tunambiwa katika Isaiah City ni mstari wa kwanza wa pili na watatu. Ondoka uangaze kwa kuwa nuru yako imekuja na utukufu wa Bwana umekuzukia. Maana tazama giza litalifunika dunia na giza kuu litazifunika kabila za watu. Bali Bwana atakuzukia wewe na utukufu wake utaonekana juu yako. Na mataifa wataijilia nuru yako na wafalme kuijia mwanga wa kuzuka kwako. Amen. 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 So the mountain of the house of God is going to be so exalted in these last days that kings and gentiles would come to us to find out what shall they do. Na basi mlima wa nyumba ya Bwana utaweza kuwa umeinuliwa sana katika nyakati hizi za mwisho kiasi ya kwamba wafalme na hata watu wa mataifa wataweza kukuja wataweza kukuja katika uh, kukujia ule mlima wa nyumba ya Bwana. Amen. 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 And, and the thing is, we are going to fight a different type of war. I say, praise the Lord. No longer with swords, a different type of war. Amen. 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 Na pasi yu wapendo tulapigana vita ambayo ni ingine tofauti. Si vita vya mapanga, bali ni vita ambayo ni tofauti sana. Amen. Because in Joel, in the book of Joel chapter 3 verse 9 and 10, we are told, Proclaim ye among the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near and let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Amen. Ebu skia vile basi joeli, yoeli tatu msari watista na kumi natuambia, tangazeni haya kati ya mataifa. Takaseni vita, wamsheni mashujaa, Watu wa vita na wakaribie na wapande juu ya kuweni majembe yenu yawe panga na miu, miundu yenu iwe mikuki aliye dhaifu na aseme mimi ni hodari amen amen but look at look at Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 4 and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Praise the Lord. Amen. Nakini ebu linganisha na Isaiah mbili mstari wa ine. Uone kweli ni vita ambao ni tofauti. Nasema nae atafanya hukumu katika mataifa mengi. Atawakemea watu kwa kabila nyingi. Nao watafua panga zao ziwe majembe. Na mikuku yao iwe miundu. Taifa halita niuwa halita inua upanga juu ya taifa lingine wala hawatajifunza vita tena kamwe amen amen brethren are we ready for this when god's church is going to be lifted above all the other churches of the earth no more war we will not learn war anymore praise god ndugu siji kama unajetearisha kwa jambo hili wakati ambapo mlima Wa, wa nyumba ya Mungu kanisa la Mungu litaweza kuinuliwa juu zaidi kuliko dini zingine zote na kutakuwa tena na vita hawatajifunza tena vita sijui kama wewe unajiandaa kwa jambo hili amen. amen God's people has or have the salvation of the world in their hands wapendwa watu wa Mungu wako na wokovu wa kuokolewa kwa dunia hii mikononi mwao God is going to do great and mighty things with his people praise the lord Mungu atafanya mambo makuu na ajabu kupitia kwa watu wake Isaiah 55 5 says behold thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not and nations that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God for the holy one of Israel for he had glorified thee. Amen. Amen. Isaiah, I'm seeing a ton of stereo tano to Napio Basi. Tazama. Utaita taifa usilo lijua. Nataifa lisilo kuja wewe 
nitakukimbilia kwa sababu ya Bwana Mungu wako na kwa ajili yake mtakatifu wa Israeli maana amekutukuza amen amen, amen. Isaiah 45:14 says thus saith the Lord the labor of Egypt and the merchandise of Ethiopia and of the Sabians men of stature shall come over unto thee and they shall be thine they shall come after thee in chains they shall come over and they shall fall down unto thee and shall make supplication unto thee saying surely God is in thee and there is none else there is no God amen Amen. Basi hebusikia Isaya 45 mstari wa 14. Bwana asema hivi, kazi ya Misri na bidhaa ya Kushi na Waseba, watu walio warefu watakujilia na watakuwa wako. Watakufuata, wataku, watakuja katika minyororo, wataanguka chini mbele yako. Watakuomba wakisema, hakika Mungu yu ndani yako, wala hapana mwingine, hapana Mungu tena. Amen. Amen. And then Isaiah 49:7 says, Thus saith the Lord, the redeemer of Israel and his holy one, to him whom man despiseth, to him who the nations abhorreth, to a servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise, princes also shall worship because of the Lord that is faithful and the holy one of Israel, and he shall choose thee. What a promise. Amen. Amina basi maandiko matakatifu 49 mstari wa 7 inasema Bwana mkombozi wa Israeli mtakatifu wake amwambia hivi yeye anayedharauliwa na wanadamu yeye anayechukiwa na taifa hili yeye aliyemtumishi wao watawalao wafalme wataona watasimama wakuu nao watasujudu kwa sababu ya Bwana aliyemwaminifu mtakatifu wa Israeli aliyekuchagua Amen 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 And then in Isaiah 2 and verse 3 says and many people shall go and say come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord to the house of the God of Jacob and he will teach us his ways and we will walk in his paths for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord praise God from Jerusalem amen, amen. Amen. Na basi Isaya 2 mstari wa 3 inasema na mataifa mengi watakwenda na kusema njooni twende juu ya mlimani kwa Bwana nyumbani kwa Mungu wa Yakobo naye atatufundisha njia zake nasi tutakwenda katika mapito yake maana katika sayuni itatoka sheria na neno la Bwana katika Yerusalemu. Amen. 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 But, but, but the, the sad thing is the glory of the mountain has been delayed the glory of the mountain has been delayed lakini wapendwa jambo la kusikitisha ni kwamba utukufu wa mlima umecheleweshwa utukufu wa mlima huu umecheleweshwa yes isaiah gives the sad account in chapters 3 and 4 of the condition of the people of god and how we are delaying the establishing of the mountain of god at the top of the mountains Amen. Wapendwa basi nabii Isaya anatupatia tukio la hofu na la kuhuzunisha katika sura ya tatu na sura ya ine. kuhusiana na hali ya watu wa Mungu na jinsi wanaendelea kuchelewesha kusimamishwa kwa mlima wa Mungu juu ya milima mingine yote. Amen. What a sad account. What, what a sad account. You know, there, there is so much promise for God's people. And let us not make the same mistake as ancient Israel. Let us allow God's glory to be seen in his church and the glory shine upon us. And trust me, kings and gentiles will come unto us. Praise God. Amen. Wapendwa tusirudie tukio hilo la kuzunisha kama Israeli ya kitambo. Bali tukubali. Tukubali utukufu wa Mungu uweze kuonekana kupitia kwetu na tutaona wafalme na watu wa mataifa na dini na watu wote wakiweza kujilia utukufu wa Mungu tukubali kanisa lake liweze kuinuliwa juu kuliko makanisa mengine yote tusije tukarudia 
kile wa Israeli waliweza kufanya. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Amen. Praise God. Thank you so much Elder Kisto for that uh, wonderful presentation. May God indeed help us uh, not to delay uh, the exaltation of the mountain of the Lord's house above all other mountains because uh, ancient Israel did that. May God help us not repeat the same mistake, Amen. but may his glory be seen in us. And uh, Isaiah chapter 60, which we have read, says, uh, let us arise for the glory of God has shone upon us. The light is come. So may God be exalted and uh, may he exalt his church Amen. above all other churches, above all other religions. Indeed, what a wonderful account that Isaiah gives there. And it's an account of hope. And uh, may God help us. Uh, thank you so much, Elder. It's wonderful to see ghost, the gospel in the book of Isaiah. It's wonderful Amen. to see the nations. Uh, brethren, I believe that you two have been blessed. I believe that there's something you have learned. And so at this time, we open for anyone who has a question. Or if you have a comment, then this is the time. I request that you may unmute your microphone at this time. Kwa hivyo ndugu na tumai kwamba umebarikiwa. Kwa ujumbe huo mfupi ambao tumeangalia kusiana na kuinuliwa kwa masadio, kuinuliwa kwa kanisa la Mungu, kuinuliwa kwa mlima wa Bwana juu ya milima mingine yote. Sisi kama uko tayari kwa tukio hilo. Mungu ako tayari na anangoja sana kuweza kuinua kanisa lake. Lakini pia inakutegemea wewe, inanitegemea mimi na maamuzi ambayo tunafanya tukubali Mungu aweze kuinua aweze kuinua kanisa lake ufufu wake uonekane kupitia kwetu ili mataifa waweze kujilia ufufu ule. Kwa hivyo karibuni sana kwa yote ambao yako na swali nafasi ni yako. Uh, naona brother Kirago amefungua microphone naona uh, elder Juguna pia amefungua so we start with brother Kirago. Hallelujah. Welcome. Yes, Brother, brother Karuga. Kirago. Yes, yes. Welcome, Brother yeah. Kirago. Unanipata? Nakupata vizuri. Uh, just uh, want to say thank you to uh, Elder Kisto. <laughs> Hallelujah. Kisto, can you hear me? Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, want to say thank you to God for the word of time. And Praise for God. the word of presentation. You have mm -hmm. tied our heart. Although I have got, I have happened to have some network challenges, I have not been able to follow Kinido from, especially the last part of it. I had some network program, but I, from the beginning, had followed the the message. But I say thanks to God. God bless you very much. Hoping Amen. to continue receiving more from from you, and from God from from you soon. Yes. Thank you. Kadibuni Amen. sana. Amen. Asante sana. Amen. Amen. Amina. Thank you so much, uh, Brother Kirago. It's wonderful to have you with us. Thank you so much. Sorry for the network challenge. Uh, but thank God the message is recorded. You'll find it on YouTube. And also the audio will be sent later on the WhatsApp group for you to go over it again. Uh, Elder Juguna, you. welcome. This is your time. Okay. Karibu sana Elda Juguna. Hello? Hello Elda unakatika? Okay, Elda Juguna. Unakatika, unakatika atukupati vizuri Atupati sauti yako vizuri Hello uh, Ok, una, unakatika kidogo Hello, I want to let you go to one. I don't ski. Oh, thank you. 
even now I don't know how comes during the Latispo my network is running out. I don't know. There's a lot of challenges. I'm outside. So, are you hearing? Oh yeah, yeah. Now you can. Can you hear me? Yes, Elder Kisto, you can hear Elder Juguna? Yeah, is it clear? Yes, yes, now it's clear. Yeah, it's clear. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Elder Kisto, for that uh, presentation. Mm -hmm. I follow it uh, keenly, and uh, especially in terms of uh, Amos uh, 3, uh, verse 10, whereby uh, we who are weak, uh, we are supposed to be strong uh, at this time, and uh, in fact, uh, the time we have all all the time we have delayed the work of the Lord, whereby the glory should have been seen. Uh, so it is a challenge to us, the people of God, so that uh, at least what you have said, Elder, uh, we may not ma uh, make a mistake like the ancient Israel because we are supposed yes. to learn with the ancient mm. and not make the same mistake, uh, yes. backsliding. Uh, and uh, in fact, in the in the great controversy, in the book of the great uh, controversy, whereby Sister White uh, illustrates uh, uh, the history of ancient Israel is a striking illustration. Uh, and she, she continued to say that uh, because of backsliding, so we are perishing in the desert. In the wilderness, in the wilderness of this world, that's why we are so much perishing as the Advent people, whereby mm -hmm. we should be shining. And uh, yes. the people should be seeking for the light uh, from us. So it is very shameful to us. So thank you, Elder, for raising up uh, this message and uh, Amen. the gospel. Amen. It is wonderful. It is wonderful. And uh, thank you. And uh, much, yeah, much blessing, yes. Elder. Much blessing, my Elder. Much love and blessings. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You are up country. That is, uh, where yes, I, 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 I am in. I am in our sister isles, Tobago. We came on a mission to do a crusade, and um, okay. this is where we are staying. Very rural, really nice, beautiful island. Yeah, beautiful island. We, we, we are, we are just uh, trying to think uh, whether we can match with the uh, Karuga. Uh, <laughs> God's opened the way so that we can come. Uh, uh, Barbados camp. And, and uh, oh, come and man. reside for one week at your apartment. Yes, man. Let's let's see yes. what happens. So maybe if, uh, yes, a lot, we, we are going to see whether things will work out. Yes, by God's blessed, grace. Blessed elder. Blessed man. Blessed. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much, Elder Jibuna, uh, for your comment. And indeed, may God help us. Uh, and uh, if it is will, I believe we'll be together in Camp Barbados. So may he Amen. continue opening. Amen. 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 Uh, okay, I don't know if there's any, is there any other person with a comment or a question at this time? As we continue. Yes, Brother Picton, your mic is on. Welcome. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Um, thank you so much, Elder Kiso, for that wonderful presentation. <laughs> Um, it's just timely because it, it awakens the church of God, which is the, the that mountain of God. Mm -hmm. uh, it awakens so that we may shine as we end this second watch, so that as we are shining the next watch, um, let, let it find the, uh, the awake, wide awake than ever before, so that. He may glorify his name uh, above all the other mountains. Mm -hmm. The great lesson. I'm really waiting for the next, the coming one, which will show us where we have uh, our slumber, our where the, the, uh, which will actually open us our eyes so that we may see ourselves as we are, uh, so that we may. Week. So thank you for that wonderful yeah. lesson. God bless you so much. God bless. Amen. So blessings to you and your family, my dear brother and friend. And it's, it's, it's you know, it's the move of God at this time to bring us to the place where we only exhibit 
the glory of God in the earth. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Brother Picton, for your comment. God bless you. Thank you. Vika makuna mwingine ako naswali ama jambo la kuongezea kabla tujeza kufunga kipindi hiki. Na Okay. So so brethren I just uh, want to encourage you to have time to go over this message once you receive it and uh, may may we have that desire that uh, these things may be fulfilled at, during you know during this time during this generation may we ex allow God to exalt himself in us and may his glory be seen in us this is my prayer that it may be possible uh, that it may take place in our hearts uh, and that the people may see may see his glory because remember this is the last message of mercy to this world so thank you so much uh, everyone for having joined i see sister janet uh, mic is on i don't know whether it's by mistake sister janet welcome no no me fungulia mic jikama am i need by mistake that you know no me ingia to say but otherwise, welcome, Sister Janet. Maybe you can say hi to us. Okay, hello, everyone. Hello. Praise God. Amen. Oh, I will make it late. Oh, sorry. Okay. Next time, I will make it on time. I hope you are all blessed. God bless you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Janet. Uh, and uh, don't worry, at least the message is being recorded. You will find it uh, on, on WhatsApp and also on YouTube. And uh, I really encourage you to, to go over this message. We have learned uh, deep things, wonderful message. And uh, so have time to go over it uh, on YouTube and also the recorded audio once, it's, once it will be sent in the WhatsApp group. So, Elder Kisto, I hand over to you for the final comments uh, as we end this. I end? Uh, yes, okay. You just had a little stalling there, uh, Elder. Oh, sorry, sorry for that. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, I, that's... Then, uh, I was welcoming you for the final comments and then okay. as we end. Right. Beautiful. So, again, I, I want to thank all of you for taking time off of your late or early evening hour to come and spend with us. Um, you know, we need to invite more people to come on because these messages of Isaiah are very, very important for the church in the last days. And let me just say we are in um, Tobago to do a crusade and we're getting some fight from the Seven Adventist organization. Um, so pray for us. Um, the, the meetings are going on, um, but they are, they, are, they are threatening their members, normal behavior all over the world. Not to oh, hello, hello, I'm dying. World, amen. Someone invite you. Oh, sorry. To... Uh, it's like, uh, the, the, uh, we lost you for some seconds there, maybe. Okay. Uh, you are saying you are facing challenges with the yes, SDA? Yes, we, we are feeling um, some, facing some challenges from the SDA church, but um, we continue with the meetings. We go until the 11th, so pray for us that the Lord will give us the strength. It's a lot of hard work, as you would imagine, but God is faithful, yeah? Amen, amen. Amen, amen. So let's pray as we close. Father, our God, we thank you for this powerful meeting today. Thank you, God, that we were able to complete and without many, many challenges. Bless the brethren in, there in Kenya. Give them strength to endure, even in the face of difficulties. Bless the work here in Tobago. Bless the work all around the Caribbean and other parts of the world. And keep us, Father. Give us love in our hearts. Give us peace in our homes. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much again, Elder Kisto. Amen. And, uh, you know, knowing that you're on mission and you still got time for us, we really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the sacrifice. And uh, may God be with you as you continue the mission there in Tobago. Uh, may God use you 
mightily to reach to his people. May he give you strength to overcome the challenges that you are facing over there. We'll be Amen. praying for you and uh, we wish uh, you all uh, success in your mission. So Amen. thank you so much. Uh, pass our greetings to the brethren you are with there. And those ones you communicate with your family, pass our greetings uh, to them yes. too. Amen. Thank you, thank, so you. thank you everyone for having joined the session. God bless you. And uh, this marks the end of our session today until next Tuesday. May God be with you. May God bless you and have a good night. Bye-bye.